Now, how do you guys start out? Do you start out like, is there a, uh, like an open mic night or something if a guy wants to become a rapper? How do you get going? Like, well, there's a lot of different ways. Like, I'm from the, the underground rap scene and that I like the East Coast rap. I like battle rap, that type of stuff coming up. So I was more out of the open mic scene. Um, I got to hang around the older guys and the cool guys and the drug dealers because I could rap about street stuff, right? Whereas then you take like a T.I., he was always interested, loved music and stuff. But Tip was a trap rapper from the start. You know, he... He was entertaining for the streets, so he didn't, he didn't need to go to fucking open mic. He just needed to be opened up on a mic and then allowed the greater public mm. to hear him. And I'm saying, <coughs> excuse me, I talk about him and, him and Big Boy because they're two of my best friends. So I know I got poetic license to talk about those guys where I don't really, you know, tread lightly with other rappers. You never know whose feelings mm -hmm. get hurt. But so there was no need for him to do open mics as much as right. just find someone who believed in him. And that was um, KP, L.A. Reid, DJ Toom. And gave him platform to create the genre now known as trap music. Me, I came up more of out of the battle rap scene and out of the, you know, go show your wares. Kind of like a comic. You get up in front of everybody, do your shit, see what works, go home, readjust, come back next week. So when you do like a battle rap thing where you sign up, how, how, how would that nah, work? Th those days they just threw you in a pit. I mean, it was oh, like, so you it was just like met a guy for yeah, the you, first time. Yeah, you show up. Um, I got my name. My name, my nickname Skunk, right? My nickname was Skunk or my family called me Michael. Um, my friends were the unruly scholars, and those guys were like just East Coast rap. One was from Connecticut, one was from South Carolina, but his family was from New York. They could rap their ass off. They were like Rock'em and Big Daddy came in the same group. They defeated a lot of guys, made better records. And then one day, there was this thing called Green Lights where people would play their music and then they'd be battling each other. My homies didn't come, and man, you could just, everybody who you thought was the homies, homies was just shitting on them. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is my homies. And my man Gerard, Gigi McGee, who I had just seen like a couple weeks ago, he was the person that kind of pulled me out of knocking around in the trap, trying to be a petty drug dealer into a studio. And he was the first person to say, yo, this kid could really rap. Like, you know, fuck that shit. I know he steals cars and, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And he rides around doing hood rat shit with his ratchet friends, but he can really rap. Let's get him in. So he was the guy that started bringing me in. So it offended me. They were talking about my friend like that. So I just start fucking off with their heads battle rapping them and a man named Double D called me killer that night he said this kid's a killer Mike's a killer and that's how I got the name Killer Mike ah oh, what a great story <laughs> so the battle rap scene you would just get tossed into a pit and how much time would you get this is in the 90s this isn't like formal battle rap now like battle rap has evolved like boxing now mm. like what I'm talking about is essentially cockfighting so, but like when you would battle rap, there would be no no time limit. No, no time. You just went. You just went. You just went until you won the crowd or the mm. other guy shut the fuck up and walked away with his wow. head down. What was a long battle rap? Man, like that night, those guys were still, I literally took out four and five and six. And those guys were still trying to come at me before D, who was fucking built like you when when, when we were children. You know what I mean? It was like, I was obvious D knocked you the fuck out. Just told everybody shut the fuck up. This kid won. <laughs> So it never was decided, all right? D's spoken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> DJ Double D gave me, my, gave me my rap name. It gets heated, man. I've watched a bunch of them online with dudes getting each other's faces. And it's just, man, my, um, my, um, my, D, my DJ, DJ Trackstar, keeps me up with the battle scene, and I couldn't do it. Like, as an older man, I'm just saying to myself, like, yo, I would just, I would have fought somebody, man. <laughs> like, straight the fuck up. Like, it, like they, they, man, it's, the disrespect is amazing. It's but amazing. It's a martial art yeah. of sorts. You know, it's a mm -hmm. mental martial art. The ability to stay self-disciplined enough not to wild out. The ability to give it and take it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's an art. The, have you ever seen Roast Battle? No. Roast Battle is what they're doing with stand-up comics with the, the same principle. Mm -hmm. They go, well, they, they prepare for it. Like, sometimes, like, weeks out. And they tell them who they're going to be battling against, and they write a bunch of jokes about each other and just shit all over each other. Ruthless joke writing. It's on Comedy Central. Don Rickles worthy shit. Ruthless shit. That's just ruthless. That's what comedy should be. 